Hello and welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today I'm going to be talking about the latest release from Danielle Allen. And Danielle is becoming this go-to author for me. Like I am enjoying her stories. They're very much, um, I think a lot of single women who are in the dating scene is going to enjoy her stories. Um, she pushed the limit sometimes. Her ending is sometimes surprising. Um, but at the same time, I enjoy um, seeing what she's come up with. So... Um, um, I want to say maybe two months ago, I read uh, Sweatpants Season, and I did a review on it, and in that book, she had a character who appeared briefly. You mean, you blink, you miss, you miss the character. So she did a spin-off, and in the spin-off is a new release where she called Coffin Season. And the, the, the cover is out there and scandalous, but if you've read any of her books, there's a message. There's, her, her covers are just not random. And in this case, there's a reason why this cover is like this. So in this story, we have um, an aspiring um, fashion designer. And she's in grad school and she is getting attention where her, her clothing line potentially, you know, can be something. So in... She wanted to have more um, visibility, so she wanted a photographer. He was a well-known photographer, and she could get him involved somewhere. She felt like that can up her game in the in the fashion in the fashion world. Um, but she didn't think much of it. But it's a romance, so of course, you know. There's there's just chemistry happen um, without them, you know, even trying. They just automatically click. And he's a very attractive photographer. He's well known, he's very famous, and he's also a professor. And he he um initially you know was just attracted to her. It's something about her that drew him to her. She became his muse. And in the midst of that, there's all these um other women who wanted him and decided to um pretty much destroy the girl life because she they realized he has a crush on her or was interested in her. And in this, this is where you get the cuffing season where you're talking about how somebody can ruin your reputation by assuming that you slept with everybody for the come up. <laughs> or you you know, you have a few sexual partners in your lifetime and all of a sudden you're a whole. So that was a big discussion in the book and I love that part because um, once again, like if you've read the, f the first one, again, you don't have to read the first one, but I think it's a good idea to read Sweat Sweatpants Season first. But there's a podcast, guys who are just horrible, and they think the worst of women. And, you know, one of the discussion is if you have uh, five partners who happen to be uh, established men who, who are, um, or who are, enter in the world where they're going to be somebody whether it's a, a famous athlete or somebody who was born into wealth so the men she's encountered with fit into that kind of profile and because of that it, it becomes a story of um, she's a whole she's labeled you know everything in the book because of that which is not true but you know that's what some people think. And it makes me wonder, especially dating, if, you know, how people are going to generalize women if you have certain amount of partners. But if it's a guy and he has that amount or triple that amount, that it's, it's, it's acceptable, it's okay. I think this story might be more of a discussion with a younger audience in terms of the early 20s or maybe their, their late teens and how in that pressure of feeling that they need to be, um, people, they need to listen to everything people say that, that generalizes them as a character. Like, if you slept with this amount of people, that means you're going to be labeled something. I think for that audience, this book is going to be a little bit more, um, helpful and informative and, and maybe, uh, inspiration. But, you know, an older person, <laughs> You know, that has been there, done that over that stage of their life where they, you know, they know who they are as in me. <laughs> that, you know, I read it thinking, okay, I, I really don't know anyone who would call somebody a hoe for sleeping with about five people. <laughs> so, you know, I, I looked at it and for me it was very entertaining. But I do feel like it's a good book to have for a, for a certain kind of audience that are struggling with 
um, being secure in their sexuality, being secure, being free and doing what the hell they want. Um, you know, it's your body as long as you're being safe, <laughs> you know, and um, or it's someone lying, you know, saying that you did this, you did that, but you didn't do it, accusing you of um, having multiple sexual partners, but you didn't. This is where that book comes into play, but I loved it. It was very sexy. Um, there was a scene where I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'm for that. Um, I love the interaction between the, 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 the couple. I thought it was very um, entertaining, but it's also sweet and romantic. And I love the, the, the professor. I found that he, um, how he handled certain situation um, as a man in the book, you know, you know, gives, gives you that, yes, not all the men in the book are trash, you know, he was the good guy that I, you know, I loved in the book, and, um, but, yeah, I would definitely think this is a quick one, it's only a little over 200 pages, um, it's definitely a fall book, a winter book, you know, that is that sweet cuddle up read, and, um, and, you know, be entertained. So that's it for now, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.